everyone. Just wanted to do a quick update. Um, I just got back home from the gym. I had a great workout session. I'm working out with a trainer here in town at the Underground Lab. You'll have to go to their website. I'm going to put it in the description. They have some great innovative workout um, styles in there. I just I really love working out there because it's neat and every day I do something different. Um, today is the first time I have been there in over a week. Um, I traveled to St. Louis, just got back in yesterday. Um, I was really trying really hard not to make it today, but he uh, called me out and made me come in. So I did get my workout done today. Um, kind of been slipping, not doing as much as I wanted to do. Uh, between going on vacation for 10 days, having all my friends up here for Fourth of July, a family reunion, and now just coming back from a vacation with my children. My eating hasn't been very good. My water intake has really suffered. And, you know, just enjoying my mojitos and just different drinks are not really helping me to reach my goals. So I am officially going to start doing this vlog, this um, video, once enough just to kind of do an update on my progress. Uh, some of you guys have seen my post on the Fitness Divas Facebook page. I'll put a link on that on the bottom. But, um, you know, I started off in this weight loss game. I was inching close to 200 pounds, which is not where I wanted to be, obviously. Um, and I just decided I needed to make some changes. So about a year ago, I started working out with a trainer. I did that for a good three months in a fitness competition. But I also self-sabotaged myself, which is something that I've been known to do. Um, a lot of people have a fear of failure. Sometimes I have a fear of success, it seems. And I will find ways to, um, to make myself not win or to do things that I know are counter counterintuitive that way and um, if I don't win on my own merit I can say oh well I really didn't try that hard or I gave up so I am really going to commit to this I'm going to be 35 in November I've got three lovely kids a wonderful husband and I'm not trying to get shit for anybody else except for me because I want to have a healthier longer life and as you can kind of see I've kind of carry a lot of my weight, my hips and thighs, and I'm just really thinking that that pear shape is not going to be good for me long term with the history of heart disease in African American women, and it's just really important for me to make healthier choices. I know that seems kind of funny because I do have a cooking video coming up about my mac and cheese, but I'm also going to be doing some tweaks and try to hopefully put together some recipes that are a little bit healthier and play with some different things because it is important for me to teach my children to eat healthier. Um, and right now we're very traditional you know, fried chicken, fried pork chops, fried catfish, some grills and things like that. But I need to kind of encourage them to uh, choose healthier options as well. So um, today is August. My goal for the month of August is right now that scale has inched back up to about 187. And I'm thinking by the end of this month if I commit to my healthy eating, going to meet with my trainer two to three times a week, Increase my water intake and quit skipping meals, which is a big thing for me. I have a tendency to wake up, drink coffee, and then it's one o'clock before I'm hungry, and then I eat. So my metabolism is storing everything because it doesn't know if it's going to eat again. Um, so I need to quit doing that. But my goal for the end of this month is to get down to 180. Um, and then my long term goal before my birthday, November the 23rd, is to get down to about 174, 175. I'm not trying to be skin, skinny. I want to be thick and curvy. I, I don't need to be 130, but not just because for me, I don't think that's the right weight for me. But I just want to be toned and really feel good and like start to see some muscle definition. Like I was starting to see in my arms and my shoulders until I stopped working out. But today's workout was great. We did arms. I don't know if you guys go to a gym that has a T-Rex machine. Those are awesome. We did triceps on there, push-ups, row, upright rows. It's just like a hanging strap from a... a I don't know what I would call that, but just from apparatus, and it's just a great workout, and it works a lot of your body, so um, that's my goal. I'm just going to do a quick little turnaround. I really don't want to show all, all of this, but I guess I need to, so here's my before, starting today in August, and then I'm going to do one at the end of the month. Hopefully, like I said, my goal, I'm at 187. I want to get down to 180. I'll do a after on the last day of the month, so here's kind of where I'm at now. I know these pants aren't very easy to see, but I refuse to show you my stomach because, like you know, I have three kids. And, um, and so, um, the goal is to kind of tone everything now, get everything tied, get it right, the, um, and lose a little bit of inches off where I choose to carry all my weight. So, 
Um, this is going to be a little update. As always, you can um, you can find me. I did create a Facebook page for Strive to Be Best Me. My other page has so many of my coworkers and colleagues, and even though I've blocked them, you know, so a lot of times people don't want to hear what you want to say and want to make negative comments. So I put together a Facebook page. It's facebook.com backslash strive to be best me. You can friend me on that. I also have another page. You can go on there and just like things. It's strive to be best me, the number one. You can follow me on Twitter. I'm going to be detailing kind of my workouts and what I'm doing. It's twitter.com backslash strive to be best me. And that two is the number not spelled out. And also I'm on Instagram at strive to be best me. I'll put all that in the details below. And, um, you know, hopefully when I see you next month, you'll see a little bit less of me. Thanks.